All right. So, so, but, but Amit ji, we have a very special guest now joining us, who's given us a lot of support and encouragement ever since we started the Cleanathon. Please put your hands together for Jaya Bachchan now, joining us uh, uh, on, on the phone live. Jaya ji, thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, you know, it, it's always a pleasure to hear from you and to, to get your work. We are today really appealing to everyone to plant trees. And Amit ji was just saying a short while back, you know, give them a name, look after them, and really make that a part of your life, to have a tree that you're taking care of. Uh, Vikram, I... I can't hear. I uh, can't. Carry on, Jaiji, we can hear you. Okay. Vikram, first of all, apologies for not being there. I wanted to, but I got to know about it very late, and I've just come back. And uh, But uh, I've been following your program, uh, on and off, not the whole uh, morning, and but in the afternoon. Uh, and uh, now, uh, recently, you, you were talking, and Amiji was talking about planting trees. And uh, I understand that uh, it's very important. For me, it's very important. I'm a cleanliness freak. I mean, I'm obsessive about it, so I don't want to go there. But planting trees is very, very important. I'm, but the government, government must have the will. Where are you going to plant trees in Bombay? You are sold out to the builders' lobby. There are buildings, high-rise buildings. You can't breathe. Amitji and I make it a point to leave some space in our house so that you know there is an open lawn, there is a place to stand and breathe, which she loves to sit out in the air, open air, and sort of sunbathe and. But I don't know how much fresh air he's going to get from here because all around us there are buildings. Where is the air going to come from? There is a huge, there is to be a huge lake next to the small airport here in Juhu. And it's slowly getting covered by uh, Jukki Jopris. They're getting covered by all kinds of filth. Who's going to clean it? That was a clean patch. Fresh air was coming from there. There was water. I have spoken to a number of authorities. It belongs to the Airport Authority of India. I've spoken to so many people. I've written letters to different governments. Nobody has done anything. Where is the will of the government? I can understand NDTV doing this. I really appreciate what you all are doing, but where are you going to plant? When, when are you going to remove these Joggi Jopris from open areas? So yeah, uh, I'd just like to endorse what she said about uh, having open spaces. Uh, we uh, uh, bought a house in Juhu, you know, almost 45 years ago. And at that time, it, it wasn't developed at all. And ours was perhaps the, one of the isolated homes at the corner of the uh, development scheme. And we found that there was another plot next to it, which was empty. And everyone said, you know, you should take this as well. So we got it. But we remained very sincere the fact that we needed to put a lawn there and not build on it. And more recently, we had another opportunity to buy a, another home behind where we are. And uh, we broke the house down and we made a lawn into it and we planted trees and so and so forth. Now, these are some of the opportunities that we can get. But yes, I do agree that we need to have more green zones in a city like Mumbai. Uh, I know that Delhi at some point of time had that and it's been very profitable for a lot of places. I can only talk about really because I lived there for quite a while. But yes, I think we do need to have this attitude and the will, as uh, Jaya was saying, to install these green zones, even in a city like Mumbai, which is you know, just becoming a concrete jungle. Jaya I think that's a really, really good point you've made. And you know, the crux of the issue is, yeah, it's all very well to tell people, go plant trees. But as you absolutely correctly ask, where are they going to plant those trees? So, the government needs to identify places where this can happen and certainly not cut down the trees that are already there, as, as unfortunately happens all too often. Jaiji, now that we do have you on the line, I just wanted to you know, uh, bring your attention to a segment that we are about to come to a little later in the evening, but I know it's really close to your heart, so I just wanted to tell you about it. Unfortunately, for the last two or three cleanathons, you've been coming to join us and we've been talking about the really sad problem of manual scavenging, people having to go in uh, humans, uh, with, you know, having to go through the indignity of going into sewers and clean them out. We've just heard the case of another person dying uh, in that. 
So we will be drawing attention uh, to that a little later in the program. Uh, but you know, I know that that's something which has been very close to your heart. So may I make a point, please? Hello? Yeah, carry on, ma'am. Uh, you know, uh, this, uh, I think that if uh, Amiji is giving his voices to different kinds of uh, projects for the country and uh, he feels very strongly about it, and now, Vikram, you all are doing Swachh Bharat, you are so passionate about it. Can you not force the state governments to make it mandatory and compulsory for all schools to have open space? next to the premises of the schools where the children can play, the, the area is open, and they can be taught to plant trees. How important it is, and how important it is to breathe. breathe breathe This is, this has to come from the government. The government has to make it compulsory for open spaces next to schools, hospitals. We have no open areas. Every area is getting built. So I think that if through this initiative you can somehow influence the government, I will be so obliged. You will have all my support to do whatever you want to. What about manual scavenging, uh, Jaya? Oh, no, no, that's, a, that's, that, that's terrible. Can you imagine 70 years? and we have not been able to give respect to our people. They're human beings. You know, one of the worst things that we have done, I'm sorry to say this, we are building toilets. But do you know where the mess goes from the toilets? It is the, the there is not proper uh, sanitation there because it goes straight into the ground. And all the filth that goes into the ground where we are growing grain, we are growing all kinds of things and all kinds of disease is spreading because of this. Right, uh, Jay ma'am, thanks a lot for joining us uh, with that. I think you've given us a lot to think about. Uh, and certainly the, the government also should, you know, there are some issues there for the government to consider. And in fact, uh, Ma'am, thank you so much for having joined us again and, you know, we, we look forward to your continued support here.